another episode of El Paisano News' Meet the Staff of Rio Hondo College's newspaper. My name is Eric Munoz, I'm the Broadcasting News Director of Rio Hondo College, and I'm here with... Autumn Lewis, I'm a staff writer here on El Paisano Online. And I'm going to go ahead and ask her a couple questions today in hopes of getting to know our staff a little bit better. So, um, our first question is always the same. Uh, what high school did you go to? Um, I actually went to three high schools. So I graduated from Los Altos High School in Hacienda Heights, California. Okay. Um, but I also went to two other high schools in Alabama before I moved up here. So. Okay, so you went from Alabama to Hacienda Heights? Yes. Wow, that's crazy. And then you went to my rival school because I went to Wilson. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so now we got, Wilson. yeah, there's some, there's some history here. Okay, so could you tell me a little bit about Alabama? Alabama, um, well, I know when I moved up here, it was a huge culture shock. Um, I was used to just, the, I wasn't used to being around um, people, like the people that I am now. I was used to people like, being more like me so I was in an area where it's mainly just black and white people right. and then I moved up here and I see a whole bunch of like a whole new like culture so like a whole bunch of Latinos and other um, races here and I think that's pretty cool I like oh yeah that's awesome colorful. I mean I know because I live in Hacienda Heights as well and there's a the very large uh, Asian American population yeah. and so I can I'm only imagine that it's <laughs> crazy going from a place where it's predominantly black and white to where there's a uh, predominantly Hispanic and Asian, mm -hmm. uh, so I could I it totally is. get it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think I kind of experienced that a little bit too when yeah. I first moved to Austin Heights. Oh, yeah. So, when you first came to LA, what were some of the biggest differences? I think the biggest difference is, well, in Alabama, there wasn't a lot of things to do, but up here, I like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm here where Disneyland is, like, um, I have all the, I, I don't know, is there a SeaWorld here? I think there's a SeaWorld. San Diego. San Diego, yeah. San Diego Zoo, stuff like that. I wasn't used to seeing so many things to do. Like, down there in Alabama, we didn't have that much, so that's the biggest thing. That's a big trip. Mm -hmm. So, what, when you graduated high school, what made you come into journalism? Journalism. Well, I remember in high school, I was a big writer. I loved to write. Um, it was mainly like creative writing, writing stories, like just fictional stories. Um, I think um, one day I was just watching the news and I was I was listening to, I believe it was Melissa Harris Perry. And she's not really a journalist. She's a, a professor. But like just seeing her up there on TV talking about what she was passionate about, but actually she actually writes what she talks about. I'm like, I like that. I'm going to do that. So I started like getting more interested in journalism and news and that type of thing and that type of writing. Wow, okay. Now, when you, now that you, you've been a journalist, you're mm -hmm. on the newspaper staff, what was your favorite story that you've covered or contributed to? Well, um, I, I love that I'm with digital because, I mean, I love being on campus and talking to people on campus, but I also like that we're able to talk about like more things on online. So I believe that, I guess my favorite type of stories to write are like arts and entertainment, like music and, um, like the movies and stuff like that, writing about that. So what kind of music are you into? Oh, uh, I'm really big on hip hop. Okay. Uh, my favorite rapper is Drake. Of okay. Course, so. so like, do you like kind of the more mainstream hip hop? Mainstream, main, mainly yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And like, what kind of music? What movies are you into? Uh, movies. Uh, I'm really big into superhero movies and just like action movies, honestly. Um, I went. I recently went to see Justice Justice League this past weekend, and it was amazing. Yeah, you really liked it. Yeah, I did. That's awesome. So, could you kind of give me like a little bit more uh, stories on like your experiences here at the El Paisano newspaper? Oh, um, well, I like it here. I remember like the first time I heard of El Paisano News, like I was like, oh my gosh, like they were sort of like the cool group that I would see come in sometimes and they would have their little like um, lanyard on and I was like, gosh, I really want to join that. I thought it was really cool. I wanted to be a part of it. Um, it took me a couple semesters to get into it because I had to get my other education out of the way, but I finally joined and I was so excited and I just love being in the atmosphere, like a whole bunch of writers like me and, you know, covering stories. It's cool. Like, where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years? Uh, I see myself, like, somewhere on MSNBC with my own segment, most likely. Probably, like, covering all types of stories, but I mainly want to cover, like, um, music and media, that type of thing. So, okay. Yeah, so I see you, myself. You kind of already answered your, uh, my, my question, which is um, first impressions. Mm -hmm. So what kind of, like, when you first walked into this newsroom, what, did you, what was going through your head? Oh, I was like, oh, I can't wait! I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. I saw all the computers. Like, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get on there. I thought it was really cool, and I saw everybody like just smiling. I didn't see any like unhappy people in here, so I was like, good vibes. Like, 
already. That's funny because we're always so stressed out because of deadlines. <laughs> That's crazy. I couldn't even tell. So. Oh, man. Well, I wanted to thank you so much for talking to me today. And if thank you're you. interested in a uh, career in journalism, come on, check us out at B112, where L by Sonic News is located. My name is Eric Munoz. I'm Autumn Lewis. I'll see you.